Hello guys, today in this tutorial we are going to learn how to design a church flyer using Adobe Photoshop. Thank you so much for following. If you are old yet, thanks. And if you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime I upload a new video. Without any further ado, let's get started. So go to your file menu, select new, and we are going to use A4 paper size. Then go to print, select A4 over here. And change it to inches now leave your resolution at 300 then RGB color mode for social media and click on grids so this is our working area now so over here we are going to copy the color code for this tutorial so ctrl plus C to copy or you can right click and copy it over here then go to your fit color select the solid color and Ctrl plus V to paste. Now I'm going to bring a guideline. Okay, so then go to view and click on lock guidelines to so lock the guidelines. Okay, so now we are going to, to grade the background. In this tutorial so then go to your resource file and over here then we are going to select this background over here then scale it out then go to your filter select blur gaussian blur and we are going to apply 23 points 0.5 click ok to blur it now apply your layer mask select your gradient to over here then we are going to change the back uh, the color so change this one under the basic so make sure that this side is black and also this side is black but over here will be transparent then you can now blend it right so then go back to your resource file and we are going to import this one then rotate it horizontal bring it down and we are going to apply a blur to this one also then go to your filter, select blur, Gaussian blur, and this one we are going to make it 12.5. Then you click OK. Now change the blending mode to multiply. Then apply your layer mask, select your gradient tool, and blend it over here. So you will now have something like this. Then we are going to move further to import this element over here. Then we are going to increase the size. And change the blending mode to overlay. Then reduce the opacity to 77 okay then the next one we are going to bring this worship image over here then take it up reduce the size and change the bloody mode to soft light then reduce the opacity to 71 percent then apply your layer masks select your brush over here then we are going to make use of our soft brush then select soft brush here under general brush now we are going to apply 
by cleanage of so okay, like this now we are going going back to our resource over here and we are going to import this glow light here then drag it this way something like this then change the blending mode to screen or you can use linear dodge then change the blending mode to linear dodge then go back to your resource file and we are going to import this background here then position it this way now then we are going to change the blending mode to add light this way then reduce the opacity to 54 percent apply your layer mask then select your brush and we are going to clean this side off then circle so like this so the next thing we are going to do now then we are going to import this image over here now we are going to rasterize it then select your select subject okay so as you can see now go to your select under the menu go to modify and expand then expand by two percent then you click ok now ctrl plus j to duplicate then i will turn this one off so then this is the outcome then i will drag it over here and i will reduce the size and I'll position it over there. Something like this. Okay. Then I'm going to change the blending mode to soft light soft light so that it will blend together with the background okay something this way it's okay then now the next thing we are going to do now then i'm going to draw a rent angle I'm going to draw a rent angle over here this way then change the color to black and I'm going to apply blur then go to your blur select Gaussian blur convert it to smart object and I'm going to make it three points 3.9 it's okay like this then reduce the opacity to 51 percent now apply perspective then make it this way then make use of skew to change the direction this way then I'm going to rotate it this way okay so you can see the shadow there now I'm going to 
bring this shadow below it now then apply your layer mask select your gradient tool and you blend it like this so now the image have a shadow then now we are going to our test now then go to your background over here i mean your test documents and we are going to make a copy of this one ctrl plus c to copy then go to your resource file and import this logo then reduce the size then take it up over here then draw a rent angle and change the color to this orange color then select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste then change the font color to white increase the font then go to your test over here and reduce the space right so now i'm going to select this one like this then group it Control plus A to select all, or you go to select under the menu, then you see select over there. Then we are going to apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then go back to select and select this one to deselect it. Then after this, then we are going to duplicate this one. Control plus J to duplicate, or so you drag it over there. then position it over here then highlight it go to your test document make a copy of this one then ctrl plus v to paste then increase the character spacing by 600 Then Ctrl plus A to select all, apply vertical alignment, then Ctrl plus D to deselect. Now we are going to copy this one and Ctrl plus C to copy, then T to select a test tool, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now increase the test. Then go to your go to your character spacing, then reduce it to zero percent. So now we are going to change the fonts to Sharpion Gothic. Then Sharpion Gothic. then go to select select all apply vertical alignment to centralize it then go back to select and deselect it now we are going to apply a test effect on this go to your blending option then select bevel and emboss now then make use of this setting you are seeing over here so copy it down and make use of it then now we are going to select the inner glow inner glow 
then also keep this setting over here keep the setting you are seeing over here then after this one then select certain and also keep the setting you are seeing in this area then and we are going back to our gradient overlay so here now we are going to change this color so over here is the color code Control plus C to copy then Control plus V to paste so this one is white then should be around that place and it should be around 66 right 68 then copy this one Control plus c to copy 68 and the last one Control plus v to paste so this is the the test effect and angle is minus 90 so take note of that then i'm going to change the angle to minus 17 so that it will bright a little and the scale is 150 okay then go back to drop shadow and make use of this setting over here then the distance we are going to change it to 50 the opacity 54 then the distance 15 the spread 4 and the size 9 then something like this then click ok to apply it then we are going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then you bring it down now select your test to using the shortcut key t and we are going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste Then on this one, we are going to double click on this effect and we are going to change the gradient column. Then copy this one. Go, go to the gradient overlay and change this one. Then go back to copy this code over here. change this one and the location of this one then we are going to change it the location of this one is 50 and the center then we are going to the last one then copy this code here ctrl plus v to paste now we are going to apply ok so that is it now the next one we are going to import this increase the size Now I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate, then drag it up, then bring it down to this position, then I'm going to copy this one over here.
Then select your text to Ctrl plus A to alight. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to break it. Then apply center alignment. Then duplicate this one, bring it down, then now I will type this, then I'm going to change this font to so the font I'm using here is Tahoma. Then I'm going to increase the size of this one. Okay, something like this. Then come over here. I will draw a rent angle. Then leave the color red. And I will copy the theme. Then select your test to Ctrl plus V to paste. Increase the size. Then move it over here. Okay. So over here is the outcome of it. Now the next we are going to do, then I'm going to use my arrow key then to bring this one down a little. And then go back to your resource file and import this image. Then drag it down. Okay, so now hold your shift key while you select it all. Then use your arrow key then to move it up this way. Then use your arrow key then to bring this one down. Now go to your brush, then select brush, and we are going to create a new layer. Now then we are going to select a stroke brush. I'm going to use this brush here, stroke 15. Then this way, I'm going to rotate it over here. Now, reduce the size using the bracket. Okay, so having done this, then we are going to, to select our location. Then Ctrl plus C to copy. Then import the location icon. Then reduce the size. Select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste, change the font color to black, then we are going to change the alignment to left. Then 5%. So now we are going to increase the font size. Then 
then open the space by 10% then select your rent angle something like this then go to your resource file import the calendar icon reduce the size then copy this your test tool the control plus v to paste now increase the size then highlight this one go to your test now we are going to apply this superscript select it all remove the superscript now select this one and apply the superscript all right so then we are going to copy this one select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste and this test here i'm going to change it to century gothic then select your rent angle then draw a line here now select this to while you hold your shift key then i'm going to duplicate it drag it over here or ctrl plus j to duplicate it then this rent angle here we are going to change it to white something like this okay then we are going to import this time icon reduce the size position it around here then draw a rent angle Then create a shape. Then make the color white. And what we are going to duplicate it. Bring this one down. And change the color of this one to black. Something like this. Okay, so the next now we are going to make a copy of our test. Copy this one. Then select your test to Ctrl plus V to paste. Then alight this one and uh, apply superscript. right then go back to your test and we are going to make a copy of this select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste increase the size then control plus j to duplicate it then this one 
change the color change the font color to red I mean white then copy this one highlight it ctrl plus a to highlight then ctrl plus v to paste then duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then highlight it and make a copy of this one ctrl plus v to paste now select this one and reduce the font size I'm going to remove this from this um, superscript then now I'm going to reduce the size then change the color to red and reduce the font size All right so hold your shift key while you select it then scale it out to increase the size okay so the last thing we are going to do now then we are going to bring the names to go to your test and we are going to copy these names here ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste and we are going to change the font color to white then highlight this one then change it to orange color or yellow color then we are going to break this one then apply center alignment okay then I'm going to increase the size then make it 8% then ctrl plus j to duplicate it then i'll position this one over here and i will go to copy the name ctrl plus v to paste then change the font color to white then we are going to break it then align it by left then we are going to duplicate it ctrl plus j so over here i'm going to fast forward
okay so we are done with the name and the last but not the least then we are going to import this light over here then take it up here and uh, apply screen then increase the size position it over here to create the light effect then we are going to create a rectangle we're going to create a rectangle here so select your rectangle then and create a rectangle like this then change the color to white so guys that is the end of this tutorial thank you so much for watching i really appreciate all of you guys for following please if you like this video don't forget to click on the like buttons and also share it then if you need any of my flyer please you can go to the fiber account then the link is in the description then i make your order if you want to optimize your account then you can also use the two body link in the description to create an account and optimize your channel thank you so much for following don't forget to like and subscribe share